Do you want to check out IT Pro TV but aren't ready to commit? We're making a few episodes from our most popular courses free for you to try here on YouTube so you can see what they're all about. Enjoy this episode and head over to itpro.tv when you're ready to see the full course. Hello and welcome to our CompTIA A-Plus 2019 Core 1, Core 2 A-Plus exam series. In this series, you're going to learn to support the core IT technologies. This course is geared towards the individual who has a basic set of computer skills, which can also be supplemented during your training, and who desires to obtain a job as an entry-level IT technician. This course is comprehensive and covers the objectives for the two exams that the candidate is required to take and pass in order to be A-plus certified, that being the 220-1001 and the 220-1002 exams, respectively. Keep in mind as well that this course is designed to assist the A-plus candidate in passing the current 2019 A-plus 1000 series objectives. So, what will the exam candidate learn within this series? Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. We've got some of the topics that you will see as you progress this journey with us. You will learn to install, configure, optimize, troubleshoot, repair, upgrade, and perform preventative maintenance on PCs, digital devices, and operating systems. Now, to break that down a little bit more detailed, you will be supporting operating systems, operating systems such as the Windows operating system, Mac and Linux. Installing and configuring PC system unit components and peripheral devices that connect to those system units, such as installing, configuring, and troubleshooting display and multimedia devices, storage devices, as well as internal system components. We're going to talk pretty extensively about Microsoft's Windows operating system, so you will see that we will learn to maintain and troubleshoot Microsoft's Windows operating systems, as well as managing the users and workstations and shared resources within those environments. We will also learn to explain networking infrastructure concepts, as well as how to configure and troubleshoot network connections. We'll look at implementing the, or the implementation of client-side virtualization, as well as the implementation of physical security and troubleshooting workstation security issues. We will also learn to support laptops, mobile devices, print devices, and last but not least, we will talk about things like professionalism and communication via operational procedures. You will learn how to implement operational procedures. Now to kind of take a look at what the objectives are per exam, let's start out with the 220-1001 exam breakdown. The objectives and the required skills you will see will break down mobile devices at 14%, networking at 20%, hardware at 27%, the implementation of virtualization and cloud computing you will see is at 12%. Finally, the hardware and network troubleshooting will make up 27% for an overall 100% of the exam domain coverage. In the 220-1002 exam, breakdown, if we look at the, the, the domains, the objective domains, you will see that operating systems takes up a good portion of this breakdown, 27%, with security being 24%, software troubleshooting being 26%, and then last but not least, operational procedures at 23% of your overall exam. Now, let's talk a little bit about the exam format. With the exam format, both exams follow the same format. You have a 90-minute exam plus pre- and post-surveys, not included in the 90 minutes. You also have a maximum of 90 questions, and they could be multiple choice with a single or multi-response. So it could say, choose which one of these is right, or maybe choose all that apply, multi-response. You could also see drag and drops. And drag and drops, they'll set you up with a scenario on one side, and then you need to pick and choose which of the components, attributes, or steps, and in which order they are placed in order to complete the question accurately. Last but not least, we have performance-based simulations as well. I went ahead, performance-based questions, 
give you some kind of interactive simulation, a scenario that you need to meet the requirements and you need to interact, whether it be through a command line interface or an operating system or moving network infrastructure around. Think simulation. Now, one of the things that I want you to be aware of is that simulations and CompTIA exams typically happen right up front, so your time management is important. You will typically get any performance-based questions right at the beginning of your exam. Now, when we look at the exam formats, even though the exam formats are the same for both exams, the one thing we want to keep in mind is what the minimum passing score is, and they are different. The 220-1001 exam requires a 675 in order to pass, and that's out of a scale from 100 to 900. The 220-1002 exam requires a little bit higher of a passing score at 700 passing score, and that's out of a scale from 100 to 900. These are some of the things that you need to keep in mind, and if you are going to be that A-plus exam candidate, we look forward to seeing you in our A-plus series. Thank you.